Hey there, welcome back to this series where I'm explaining some cool and interesting and sometimes weird JavaScript concepts while I go deep into them. And after watching this video, you will totally know what is a promise in JavaScript, which is a very important topic and lots of things are based on it. And how can you consume those using the keywords like then, catch and finally, which are really important as you use them all the time. So before we get into this video, if you get some value out of this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button that means a lot and without further ado let's just jump onto my screen cool so before we get into technical and code stuff i'll just explain okay what is actually a promise right what is a javascript promise so it is very exactly like the real life promise but you are here to see the technical stuff right so i'll tell you the definition so a promise is an object that returns a value which you want to receive in future not now in future promise is an object that returns a value which you hope to receive in future right and if that rings a bell uh you might remember oh is it like asynchronous javascript yes it is and if you don't know the what how a synchronous and a asynchronous javascript works uh, do watch this video you'll know all of it right so in asynchronous javascript we basically uh, also want the uh, return or want the value we get the value in future right so that's why promises are very much well suited and they are used to write asynchronous javascript code so the javascript promises have actually three states right so what are these three states of uh, promises right so uh, these are the first one is uh, pending right and second one is fulfilled and the last one is rejected right so let me just give you an analogy right um for example if you have promised someone okay i'm going to read a book in the next month right so throughout that next month you're just whatever your promise you made to that friend is pending in a pending state right now after the month ends now you can decide whether you have actually failed to keep that promise if you have failed to read the book now it's in the rejected state your promise is rejected right now if you have fulfilled it if you have read the book within that month now it's fulfilled so exactly like that it is in javascript there are three states one is called pending then fulfilled and rejected so initially every promise is in pending state then after uh, it executes you can decide oh is it fulfilled or it's rejected now let me show you an example and let me just uh, show you how a promise looks i'll just declare a variable let read book now this is how you write a promise so new new promise and here you have to pass a function right and this function is called an executor right so if i just do function and inside this function it will be a nameless function right and inside this function you will pass two other functions which is called a resolve and a reject and whenever your promise gets fulfilled you'll use this resolve thing whenever it gets rejected you'll use this reject thing right and you'll see how it works okay and within this up uh, um, brackets i will say if uh, let's just say that uh, let um, read is equal to true you read this okay so if my re read is true or i mean i can leave that or you can also do true right if it is true then you can just resolve this you know if it, you have read it it's great you will you're gonna resolve your promise yes i have read the book cool right and if you haven't well then you have to reject it and that's why we you're gonna use the reject um, function that you are passing in here right so reject and uh, i haven't read the book right now if i will save it uh, this is my console just make it bigger and here i'll just do console uh, dot log read book and this is our console and here you can see that we get an object with fulfilled as its state okay so its state is fulfilled if it was not uh, fulfilled it will write your pending or rejected it is fulfilled and it is saying us yes i have read the book this is a object that you get back right uh, because you just resolve this because your read, read is equal to true now if i just make it false uh, and i just save this thing 
people see that hey it's rejected now this promise is rejected right now uh, this is simple and good now let's just um, simulate a situation where you are fetching an api right so to do that what i will do is that um so when you are fetching an api uh, it will say, take some time to execute whatever is in here right so i'll just use a set timeout we don't know what set timeout is so set timeout is a function which uh actually whatever is in there whatever is whatever is in the set timeout is executed after some amount of time which you decide whatever it is okay and i will say here that i want this thing whatever is in here to be executed after eight seconds right so i'll tell after eight seconds uh, whatever is in here will be executed okay so now what will happen here is that at first as it will take eight seconds to execute our promise will be in pending state for the first eight seconds and after this eight seconds gets over it will get into this and as our read is false it will reject it and then it will just uh, and then it will work now the pending state will be removed and it will be rejected right so if i just save it and go uh, here and just write read book now the eight seconds is going on so it will be promise and it will be just promise but now if i just do read book it will be rejected after eight seconds right and if i just tab enter here you can see the object here that it is rejected but here when the eight second was going on we were, we were within the eight second it was pending and yeah, yeah that's how promise work you just expected a value in future and until that it was uh pending and then it you know fulfilled your things or rejected your things right so that's how a basic promise works cool. so this is what a promise is right now when you fetch an api you get this promise but you have to take that data out whatever is in there you have to take that out and for that you have to uh, do something after you get the promise so to do things after you have this promise thing to to consume this promise we have basically three functions right which the promise object has so first is the then then we have catch and then we have then we have finally right um and if i will just show you where they are so this is a promise object thing and if i just open this you will see that you have catch here and finally and then and i'll, I'll show you what are these things and how can you use them right so first i'll tell you okay what is the then thing so okay so how does this then work so we have a promise and whenever it gets resolved so whenever it gets either rejected or fulfilled then this then is fired so it just justifies its name right so if i just uh, show you something like okay we have read book uh, which is actually a promise and whenever it will get resolved which is after three seconds right it will be firing resolve or reject after that we will tell then do this or do that now then has two callbacks one is for success which is if the thing gets fulfilled and then another is for failure which is if the thing gets rejected use this like something like this so you have something called success success and then i'll tell okay console dot log uh, success and another is called reason which is fired when you get uh, rejected from the promise right so and i'll just print reason here right so what will happen now is that the read book will get executed and whenever after it resolves or get rejected whatever happens after three seconds then this will get fired and if this promise is resolved success will be fired if it gets rejected the reason thing will fire because we want the reason for its failure right if i just uh, save it now you'll see that after three seconds it will print something here cool so it said i have not read the book why that happened is that after this got fired our read is false so we rejected this promise and then it took the reason I just printed that now if i just do true here and i save it one two three yes i have read the book because resolve gets fired then we get the success callback and we print the success whatever the resolve has returned right so that's how this dot then so that is then now let me tell you about what is a catch right so catch as you know if you have used other languages it is always used to catch the errors right if i just do read book dot catch right dot catch and here uh so in dot then you don't need to provide the reason here um okay uh 
because this reason was being handled because we did not had catch right but if we have catch now this will handle the reason or the error things uh, as default right uh, reason and i just do false here so that will be rejecting this you'll see that uh, catch will handle this because it will sense okay there is an error being uh, rejected here and it will just um, print reason i just save it you'll see one two three and i have not read the bug right because the catch thing got fired um yeah so that's how basically the catch works it it catches the errors and you know you, you just give the reason cool now the last one is finally right now uh, what is this then is so you can see then as like uh it can handle everything but it's mostly used to handle uh, whenever the things just get resolved catch is for whenever the things get rejected and finally is for uh okay um so it either gets resolved or rejected we don't care finally whatever is if whatever is in finally will definitely get executed right so if i just do read book dot finally dot finally and just write here console dot uh, log just save this whatever happens or either if i get false here either i get resolved or rejected whatever happens finally will definitely get executed right so if i just do save here you will see that i get final um and also i have not read the book because this also gets executed right now if i just do true here i'll see that i'll get final because this is definitely going to execute and after three seconds you'll get yes i've read the book because this gets executed right so that's how then catch and finally works right and that's how you uh, declare a promise and that's how you consume this promises with dot then dot catch and finally and that is all about promise yep so that was the video and if you're watching till now do make sure to write a comment it will be really great to know you and do let me know your thoughts on this video did you learn something and what more topics do you want me to make a video on and obviously if you love the video make sure to smash that subscribe button that means a lot and i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day and keep building